All right, today I'm making a video about uh, two of the smaller Kershaw launch knives. Uh, the launch 11 right here and the launch 12. Now, the launch, in the, launch, the launch 11 and launch 12 are both, uh, I, but they're probably my favorite uh, launch knives now. Um, Kershaw made a number of California legal autos. And of course, and for those of y'all who don't know, California legal autos are uh, automatic knives with blades under two inches. Uh, the first one they made was the Launch 4, uh, which, you know, had a very pointy kind of, you know, a dagger kind of blade, kind of a kind of a thick blade, but, uh, you know, very pointy. Uh, then they made the uh, Launch uh, 9, uh, which is uh, kind of a, a mini hog bill. And then the Launch 10, which is a really nice drop point. And, uh, you know, especially the Launch 9 and the Launch 10, I think are really nice knives, very practical knives. But the thing about California size autos, you know, unless you're going to get something like the Protec Half Breed, which has a full size handle and a California legal blade, or I think they also have uh, another model, the one with the bolster, bolster opening knife that has a half size blade. <clears throat> Uh, the thing about California legal knives is that they tend to have little bitty handles. And, uh, you know, they're useful. You can use them. But I think that for most people with adult-sized hands, California autos feel a little bit like toys. And it's nice to have a bigger blade. Now, these two knives, uh, the Launch 12 up top and the Launch 11 down here, are both smaller knives. I mean, if you put this... Let me put the Launch 11 on the ruler I have right here. And you can see that the Launch 11, uh, let me pull it up here and not poke a hole in myself here. You can see that the Launch 11, let me pull this to the side just a little bit. You can see that the Launch 11, uh, let's see, oops, I knocked my poor Launch, I knocked my poor Launch uh 11 down trying to show the size of my launch 12. Let me put this to the side here so I can see it better. But as you can see here, the blade on this one is uh, about two and a half inches. If you can see right there, the actual cutting edge. Uh, is about two and a half inches. And the overall length, I'm just gonna put it on the clip side here so I can better show you the overall length. The overall length, yeah, let's see, get lined up right there, is about six and three quarter inches. And so it's a smaller knife, you know, probably a little bit smaller than a Delica. I don't have my Delica out here right now. Uh, for comparison but you know it's considerably larger than a uh, california size auto now the launch 11 however is pretty much delica size it's about the size of the delica or spider Pair 3 as you can see here well it's a little bit shorter than a pair of three it's, it's just it's a shade under seven inches overall let's see i'd say about six and seven eighths inches uh, the blade here is uh, a little bit more than two and three quarters. And so it's, it's a really practical size pocket knife. Uh, both of these are good knives in Illinois. And, you know, Illinois, I've said this in other videos before, has a kind of an odd uh, switchblade law in that uh, autos are legal to own in Illinois. Autos are legal to own in Illinois. Uh, you know, you're supposed to have a uh, a Ford card, which is firearm owner's ID, which is not, that's not a concealed carry permit, but that's a, basically the thing about a firearm owner ID is that you can only get one if you don't have a criminal record. And uh, that pretty much verifies that, you know, you're not a crook getting the knife. Now, autos are illegal to own in Illinois now, but uh, local jurisdictions still have the right to not let you carry them. I know, for instance, Chicago does not allow you to carry them. But down here in Southern Illinois, where I live, 
uh, most of the jurisdictions uh, are not hard on autos. Although I always say this about autos. Um, I don't go around popping them open in public. I mean, if you're going to carry it, my philosophy is if, if I carry an auto, I treat it pretty much like any knife. I don't go around flashing any knife because uh, you get attention that you don't want if you do that. I mean, if you need to use a knife, take it out and use it. And you can do that discreetly. And I, I use a knife discreetly, whether it's a Swiss Army knife or whether it's an auto, whether it's a smaller knife or whether it's a larger knife. I, I, you know, it's a tool. I use it. I put it away. But like I say, I think both of these are nice size knives because they are small. Uh, they're both under three inches. And in Illinois, uh, the way the law is in Illinois, technically there's no blade limit. But once a knife gets over three inches, you have to verify that you're not using it as a weapon. And, you know, of course, in a situ situation like that, there's always going to be a certain amount of police discretion. And so the more legality you have on your side, the better. And these knives being under three inches, provided you're in a out of legal jurisdiction, it's, it's a good thing. But anyway, these knives are, are pretty good knives. This one here is a partial flat grind. It's a pretty thin blade. It's, it's, it's a fairly usable blade. Now, of course, this is dagger style. It's got the finger guards on it, and it's got the pointy, pointy blade. It's got the little false edge or swedge up here. And, uh, you know, it really makes a good letter opener, but it's also a pretty practical knife. I mean, for the kind of things that you're going to use a small knife for, it's pretty good. Now, the Launch 11, um, which also, I believe this, this is a, this is a uh, partial flat ground, too. Uh, this is a bigger blade. It's a drop point. Uh, you know, if you wanted to use this, for instance, in a hunting situation, as, you know, for dressing game, uh, this, this, this is a more practical blade design. <coughs> uh, it's a better fruit prep. Oh, do I have a little rust on my blade here? I think I might just have a little bit of rust on it. But as I said before, these are these are actual users. I use I use these. I care, I carry the, the launch eleven a, a lot. As a matter of fact, uh, the launch uh, the launch twelve not so much. That's why it's cleaner and prettier. Yeah, I got to drop a little oil on this on the pivot right there because I got a little got a little rust spot right there. At least I think. Let me see. I think that's a rust spot. But like I said, it's it's a user, so I use it a fair amount. So, you know, it's gonna it's gonna have the marks of, uh, it's gonna have wear marks on it. But as I said before, I think these are two really practical knives. I really like them. And uh, like I said, I, th I think they I think they're just good users, uh, good everyday carry knives. Uh, and also, I would just say this: I really think that. You know, as I said before, for what I like from knives, which are, you know, kind of smaller, more utilitarian knives, these are the best knives in the, in the Kershaw Launch series. And then also, price-wise, they're both good. Both of them are priced under $100, and which is not cheap, cheap, but I think it's a really good price for American auto knives, you know, both of which have 154cm blades, uh, aluminum handles. Of course, the Launch 12 has the carbon fiber insert. Uh, and so, therefore, I think the uh, 12 runs about 95, the 11 runs about 99, and so they have a they they have a good practical price. And um, frankly, I think I think that in terms of side opening autos, I think the Launch series are the best bang for the buck in Amer in in, uh, in, in American made autos right now. Um, you know, I, I know. Protec has a better reputation. They have a, you know, you know, more of a precision reputation. But dollar for dollar, I think the launches, launch series are very competitive. Um, I think that, frankly, uh, especially in smaller autos, they're better uh, dollar values than Kershaw. Much better than Piranha. I mean, because they have the adjustable pivots and you know the, the overall build quality is better. And uh, so, therefore, in terms of American-made autos, uh, the Launch series overall are a fantastic value. 
and the launch 12, my little pointy one on the top, and the one, and, excuse me, and the launch 11, the drop point on the bottom, I think are just excellent deals, and I really recommend both of them. Anyway, have a good day.